Greetings, it's Adam with RK Galactic, and just wanted to address something that's been a source of confusion and a couple of bad reviews recently that uh, came from people who didn't even buy tokens or didn't listen when we told them the explanation as to why we're, we do what we do in the mornings, and that is we don't always turn all the games on. Now, why is that? Well, one way to answer it is do you remember as a kid ever leaving the room on in your bedroom and then your parents would yell at you for uh, leaving the light on there and wasting power because money doesn't grow on trees? Well, it's kind of the same concept. Uh, we're just saving power and we're waiting for somebody to, like you, to show up and want to play a game before we turn them on. And now we do generally keep some games on near the front so that it is at least somewhat obvious that we are open. And of course, if the gate's open, we are open, technically. And we just have learned over the years that even if the entire arcade's on at, say, 10 in the morning or 11 in the morning, whatever, that doesn't magically bring people into the mall. It only may draw them in if they're already there. But during the school year, most people are at school, at work, um, whatever, and they're not visiting the mall. Now you may say, well, why don't you just open later? Well, we can't. Per our contract in both locations, which are both in malls, uh, we have to be open when the mall is open. We have to close when the mall closes. And so if we were in our own independent location, sure, we could do that, but we can't. And so since we have to be open at 10, but uh, at least at Newgate Mall, 11 currently at Valley Fair, um, what's the point in having all these machines on and wasting all that electricity when nobody's around? And so it's just easier on us, on the machines to a degree, to turn it on when somebody's around and interested in playing. And it's no inconvenience to us, it doesn't offend us to ask to turn some of the games on that you may want to play. Um, but it's just, again, through 14 years of experience, we've found that just the mornings are usually dead Monday through Thursday. And so there's oftentimes not much of a point in having the entire arcade on. If we did that, then our power bill would be astronomically higher. And it already is one of the highest, like I, well, I haven't talked to uh, most of our neighbors and asked them, hey, what, how much do you pay in electricity per month? Well, it's certainly not to the tune of, you know, 600 or higher, <laughs> like uh, we tend to see. And so, uh, yeah, we're just, sa again, saving power and uh, we're more than happy to turn on anything that you want to play when you come in. But uh, just did rub us the wrong way to get those reviews from people who didn't even really listen to what was said, didn't buy any tokens or anything, or just make an assumption that, oh, all the games are broken. And that's another thing too. If a game has an out of order sign on it, yeah, it's broken, but if it's just off, it's off. And now if we were a major arcade chain with hundreds or thousands of locations out there, then sure we might have the money to uh, throw at electricity, whatever, and wouldn't care, but yeah, we're, we're not. We're a small local business, and so just trying to uh, make ends meet, especially as things are a bit tough right now. Electricity costs and everything costs is going up. But uh, I hope that explains it, and we also are working on some new signs to help explain that near the front. Then again, most of the time when we post signs, nobody reads them anyways, but I'm going to try it at least and see if that helps. But yeah, that's why we do that thing that we do, and so hopefully uh, understand it in the chance that you walk by in the mornings. But uh, generally speaking, after a few hours, it's going to be busy enough that it warrants having everything on. But yep, yeah, just wanted to explain that so thanks for watching and we'll see you around